Hi everyone, welcome back to Salesforce Velocity course. In this video, we are going to discuss about Turbo Extract Data Raptor. In the previous sessions, we uh, discussed about all the data raptors that we have in Velocity. All right, and uh, the types are Turbo Extract, Extract, Load and Transform. So if you remember all of those, it's fine. Otherwise, let me quickly brief you uh, over the definition of these four data raptors. So the Turbo Data uh, turbo extract data raptor is used when you have to if your requirement is to only fetch data from a single salesforce object and you use extract data raptor if you want to query on a single salesforce object or more than one salesforce object okay so basically it works for multiple salesforce objects and load data raptor is used if you want to load data from different sources okay and also it could be uh you can basically remember by like you know if you have to create data in salesforce or update data in salesforce then you can use load data raptor okay and then transform data raptor is basically used to convert data into a specific format for example if you want to convert json to xml or xml to json or even let's say if you have a CSV format and you want to convert that into JSON and then use it in the data raptor, then that can also be done in transform data raptor. Okay, but for this particular session, we are only going to uh, going going ahead and discussing about and discuss about turbo extract data raptors. All right. So as the definition says that in turbo extract, it is a little bit more restrictive because we can only query from a single salesforce object but it is good uh, like you know performance wise because it is it would be querying from just one object and not multiple objects but also it does not have as many features as um, like you know extract data raptor has right for example formulas formulas are not available in turbo extract so let's just go ahead and uh, check it out with an example so i'll just go ahead and query account data okay so i'll navigate to my cmt org i'll navigate to data raptors and i'll go ahead and create a turbo data raptor okay so omni studio data raptors and here you have to give the unique name for your data raptor so let's just say uh, dr data raptor turbo example okay and then here we are going to these are the interface types that you would be choosing from so we are going to check out turbo extract so that is what i'm selecting here then input output would be json and as you know if there are specific permissions then you can add that as well and the description okay let's just go ahead and click on save so the interface for the turbo extract looks something like this it if you notice it doesn't have all those extra tabs which are available in extract data raptor okay so it only has extract options and preview so let's just go ahead as i said that we would just be like you know uh, fetching some details from account so under extract tab i i will choose uh, account object this list basically gives you um, the options for like you no know, salesforce standard custom objects standard and custom objects also custom settings and also custom metadata okay as per our requirement i'm going ahead and selecting account and then extract output path here you can give whatever you want as in like you know this name can be decided by you you can either give it as account details details account whatever makes more sense to you okay and here we will be giving the filter criteria so filter criteria as in let's just go ahead and hard code some value okay so i'm going ahead and hard coding the value based on name name like these are the list of operators that you generally see in a sockwell okay so the, so the same thing is available over here as well and the query that i want to make right select uh id name industry like you know some other fields from account where name like and then the value okay so i'm going ahead and hard coding a value okay so i'll just hard code a value as media okay and here uh let's just not uh, select related objects right now because it will i mean you can select the child objects from here okay so for now i'm going ahead and selecting the fields that i want to display so account number let's just also display industry and uh, 
name and let's just take few more fields. Oh, this is fine. Okay. And once you have all these, like, you know, once you have selected your object and you have given your filter condition and you have selected the fields that you want to display, okay, you can navigate to options. The options here is the same thing that we discussed in the last session. Okay. So this particular checkbox is going to make sure if you click on this, right, then it is going to do the same thing that happens when you write with sharing in an Apex class. Okay. It is going to check the security. Okay. Field level security as in like, you know, it might be defined at permission set level or profile access table level, but it is, if you check it, then it is going to check for that. Okay. And this time to live in minutes, it is something that if you are like, you know, data raptor, when you call it from uh, Omniscript and if it is taking a lot of time, so let's say whatever time you define here, right? Let's say if you define one. So after one minute, it is going to drop your data raptor. Okay. Basically it will start showing some error that it is taking too much of time and something like that. Okay. So those are the things that you can provide under options. And now let's just go ahead and preview. Okay. So I'll click on execute. And here you can see I have two accounts with the name as media. So it is showing me two accounts. Okay. And also here under extract, whatever I've hard coded here, right? If I give it as a variable because I have given it under uh, quotes, right? So let's say if I remove this code, so that means I'm not passing a string anymore, right? I'm passing a variable. Let's say if I pass a variable here, then you would have to define that variable under your uh, preview parameters, okay? So I'll copy this, I'll go to preview, here edit as params, and here we have to, so here name and then uh, media and then execute. So it is giving two results, okay? Now let's just go back to extract and check out this related objects, okay? So what are the related objects on account? For example, uh, owner, right? So we always have like, you know, owner field, which is nothing but a lookup to a uh, user, right? So we have that available almost to all the objects, right? So here, if you search for those fields, then that can also be uh, queried, right? So for example, account.owner, right? So account.owner, and so here you can see, right? Owner ID, owner username, and if you go to preview, then you will see all those details added to your output. Now you can see, right? So this is your account under account. You are, you have queried uh, name, industry, and ID, but also you have queried uh, owner information, okay? And then ID and username, okay? So here, if you see, all these things are like, you know, mentioned here, like, you know, all the fields that you wanted to display, okay? So basically this is how uh, Turbo Data Raptor works. And once you have this, you can also see the query that it forms, okay? So here you can see select ID, account number, industry, name, owner.id, owner.username from account and then like, you know, so from here you'll be able to know like, you know, what it is exactly querying. All right, so this is how a Turbo Data Raptor works. In the next session, we'll check out, um, we'll check out the Extract Data Raptor where we'll have much more options. For example, we'll have uh, an option for uh, like, you know, adding formula. All right. And we'll also be able to query on multiple Salesforce objects. All right. So I hope this gives you a very basic and clear picture of how a Turbo Data Raptor works. Okay. So I'll see you in the next session. Thank you for watching.